Hello, welcome back. Kangaroo meat, to be more specific, loins. And this recipe I prepare with basil, blackberries, and raspberries. And I'm going to keep it simple because the purpose of this recipe with the kangaroo, which is a very lean meat, is to show you how to prepare in a very simple way without sacrificing taste and in fact enhancing the flavor by using the basil and the berries that are selected. So, if you like my content, please feel free to share. As you notice, in my channel, I like to cook as natural as possible. And I know a lot of people can benefit from that. If you haven't subscribed, feel free and do that if you wish to do that. You can click a like just to let me know or write some comments so we can interface and interact. I don't care if the comments are positive or negative. It doesn't bother me. I just want to interface with you if, if possible. So, go nowhere. Let's have some fun. Subscribe if you want to. Let's create. So I'm going to keep this very simple. I got a couple of uh, basil they are very fresh. This is as fresh as it gets. I'm going to get some of them. Plug, I'm going to use them. Clean it up a little bit. I got a handful of, uh, about, I don't know, this looks like maybe about half a cup, maybe less, of uh, uh, blackberries and raspberries. The anti uh, is is great in those kind of fruits. I'm going to use some ghee, a uh, clarified butter for this particular meal. I could have easily used my Australian um, extra virgin olive oil, but I'm going to go with the ghee. And I have some sea salt. This one was a little bit bigger. Uh, the sea salt, what, what bigger I mean like thick. So what I did is, you know, I did this to make it a little bit more uh, usable for this particular uh, fillet. Uh, this is a kangaroo. Very nice. It's not that big. I put it out in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes because I want the heat transfer to transfer very nicely. If it's too cold, it takes longer. So by having a room temperature, actually I have a, a little bit longer than 30 minutes, maybe about 40. So by having a room, room temperature, it's going to allow the heat to transfer at the time that I want it to transfer. So a little bit of sea salt. I don't have to go crazy. Just put in a little bit. You can use regular salt too, even Himalayan salt if you wanted to. I'm not even going to put pepper, just salt. You don't need a lot, you just need enough. You don't want to salt it, you want to taste the kangaroo. So before I start, I want just, just to show you the thickness. Some part of the kangaroo is a little bit thick, about maybe three quarter of an inch, but all the pores are very thin, especially on the edges. So I had to watch that closely. I have the heat uh, high because I want to make sure the pan, this is an electric stove, so I have it at high. I've been heating this for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, because I want to make sure the pan is is hot, and it is. You can, this is a brush with a little bit of water. 
that is hot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of this ghee uh, butter. It's clear, so this uh, kangaroo is not going to get any weird color or anything. And I want it to melt nicely. I want to make sure that it's around the entire uh, pan. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to time this just for illustration purposes. I'm going to cook one side for a couple minutes. I'm going to move the heat to medium-high, like two or three notches above medium. So I lower the heat, that's what I did. Because so I don't want the heat to transfer too fast. Fast, but not too fast. Good. Kangaroo is a very lean meat because it's very lean. It needs some help. You can marinate it the night before. I wanted to keep it simple. And I'm providing that help by using the ghee butter. Lean meat, that's very delicious and nutritious. The thickness of the kangaroo, or any step of the mat is very important because it gives you an idea of how long you want to cook this. So I said two minutes on one side, which is fine. And I have cooked a kangaroo meat before I have it in my video. Sometimes I use other uh, ingredients to complement. But this one I'm going to keep it very simple. So it's been two minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip it. See how dark and pretty it looks in this side. And I'm going to cook the other side two minutes, between two minutes and three. <clears throat> and I'm going to watch it. No more than three minutes, no less than two. And the reason I'm cooking it this way, I'm sorry, the reason I'm cooking it this way is because I want to taste the meat. This is a... No, you don't get kangaroo meat here in America every day. In fact, I bought this one a while ago, had it in the freezer, and decided to cook it today. Getting a little bit smoky. Now, something about the butter, you're going to notice in my, you know, evaporate or whatever. So you put a little bit more. This one, again, this is a lean meat. It's been a minute. If it gets too smoky, just turn the fan on. The thing about cooking using a pan, easy and, and the stove, is that you pretty much can apply similar techniques if you're cooking outdoors. 
something you cannot do with an air fryer or microwave and things like that, not even with an oven. So it trains you to understand how the heat transfer to a meat. I have nothing against uh, ovens, but I don't like air fryers and I don't like, um, how do you call it, uh, microwaves. See how beautiful it looks? And it's been three minutes on the other side. Let me flip it just to show you. So what you do now, you take it out and you let it rest for about five to eight minutes. And I have it here resting. 